you are not wood, co uh, wood culture and a modern wood structure. Here I'm to say that I'm here to learn from all of you. All of you are experts, and what I'm trying to talk is my understanding about wood structure, wood carving, and uh, my understanding about wood culture. Here I come here with the four boards. Uh, it's my own collection. It's from Qing Dynasty. I will, intro I will say something about this wood uh, later. First of all, I, 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 I will talk about this for, for wood. The first one is come, come, come from the middle and the latest period of Qing Dynasty. It's from a Qing Dynasty furniture. Uh, you can take a look at it clearly. This it is a Korean. A lot of uh, carving methods have been used, like the shallow uh, relief and hollow, hollow carving. Especially these two uh, eyes, the, the two animals are looking, uh, staring at each other. One uh, angry, the other is, uh, is, is, is not so angry, it's very uh, gentle. That, this shows the traditional craftsmen understanding about the Chinese animals and the Chinese art. I think this uh, wood carvings come from the Huizhou. Uh, it's featured that, that uh, these wood carvings come from life. This carving is a rabbit. Mr. Chen to talk, uh, told us about a story about a rabbit. Here's a bird. Just now, uh, the other uh, presenter talked about uh, the three promotion. We also have a round foot here. This carving showed people's good wishes uh, towards good life, uh, people's aspiration towards good life. In Huizhou's wood carving, people use metaphors to uh, use symbols to show their good life aspiration. In a, this carving has a ship. In a ship, in Chinese, sounds like uh, happiness and uh, merriment. The crew and the ship uh, carved together shows the, the uh, uh, maker's aspiration for good life and good harvest. This wood carving is related to the modern life. Just now, Mr. Chen talked about uh, uh, fortune and uh, high official position, and this uh, gold. Gold in Chinese sounds like both uh, fortune and uh, a career. Here, there is a Chinese chess, Chinese card, and the Chinese elegant. This shows the uh, traditional Chinese architectures. Uh, aspiration for those believe the good good life. This uh, actually I talked in uh, one uh, all these pictures, uh, all these photos I took. Uh, uh, my collection. I'm not. Uh, I, um, my major is uh, design. My major is not wood science. Wood science people should my teacher. This is the wood structure as to the material selection. All the beams, uh, fur, and the pines. This comes from the Jingxian County. It is a family outer room as to the uh, beams and the pillars. In this this pillar column, they are very strong, very uh, big, with a large diameter. That's a very tra uh, traditional design in China. It looks like a very big fruit in China. We call that this building 
structure also also shows China's Chinese people aspiration towards good life. Here, it is the elephant. Elephant a nose. We can see uh, the you know this room used to be used by. Used to be used by the uh, intellectuals, the people who want to who read the books, who want to go to uh, uh, become a senior official through going to examinations. Uh, this is a typical uh, example. Uh, Mr. Chen talked about it's a door. It's a door from Qing Dynasty. This uh, door shows the uh, family, the social position of the family, and the uh, high position of the family in the village. There are a lot of colorful paintings on it. Of all these materials, uh, the all these materials are very good for uh, for the making the doors. When we look at the doors and the windows and uh, the platform in the second floor, we can see that a kind of wood culture has been used to to convey a human's message. You know, China's wood culture can be dated back uh, to a very long time, according to historic materials. Uh, today, uh, the general uh, meaning is that uh, a lot of tools is not f uh, they, they are for they are weapons. They are also for productions. When we are producing the wood, there are a lot of ways, we can, a lot of tools we can use. Look at these buildings. The buildings. This this is a, a building from the middle and late Qing Dynasty. Most of them are wood without any stones. This is store called the Flower Good and the Moon Round. It's open. This landscape is open to the travelers and the tourists. This means that Chinese people's understanding about wood culture has new meanings. Uh, he, this is m the focus of my uh, presentation. It's a real photo of the uh, outer room because the wood culture, the wood structure used to be not only uh, the big areas but can be shown in very detailed structure. This is a shadow of a bed. It's not only a shadow, it's a respect to the wood materials. China's wood structure and wood ornaments be kept so long was because of the great thinking and philosophy of, of the traditional Chinese craftsmen. And they have taken into consideration of any might be physical damages to the wood. Many people say China is the home to wood. This is a de deniable fact. However, China also attaches great importance to the utilization of stone. And the stone can be well accompanied by wood. This is on the second floor. In the past, Chinese women are forbidden to get out of the house as long as they are married. And um, 
and this is the second floor, and the women will stay on the second floor. And the lines here are coincidence with some of the lines from the bronze, bronze sculpture. And this is the Ming carving which was found in the Jingxian County of Anxi. This is the recovery of the second floor. The window was uh, uh, renovated. Also, was from that was from the Ming Dynasty. These are the exterior looking of some of the temples. And these columns included not only wood, but also stone. Here, a famous um, film which was taken here by Mr. Zhou Renfang. It's not by Mr. Zhou Renfang. And uh, the carving on the roof actually took 17 years, and it was the efforts of 20 towers. And the owner of this house, in, uh, in order to build this cabin, actually became very poor in the end because he was so devoted to the delicate cabin. Chinese wood cabin are also very inclusive of the foreign culture. For example, this work was in the Anhui province. This is for. Um, viewing platform. The traditional Chinese culture uh, is like this. People want to stay home and they are reluctant to go out. So this tower, watching tower, is built at uh, the top of uh, one of the building structures by the owner of the house at uh, the end of uh, Ming Dynasty and the early Qing Dynasty. In China's wood culture, Chinese uh, Chinese craftsmen are very good at making metaphor with their work. And uh, one's wealth cannot be obviously or explicitly expressed in a temple or in your residential house. So people will have other ways like using a metaphor to express their understanding and good wishes for health. And it also re represents their respect for the structure. Some pictures. I'd like to talk more about this while we enter the room. These are some of the carvings on the ceiling. Actually, this kind of ornamentation tradition also extended to today. This roof ceiling is all drawn by hand. It protects the raw materials. It was drawn on a board. So another carrier of wood culture. These are lucky fish, and when the fish jump over the dragon gate, it means that the family will prosper. And below that is Fu Lu Shou, which means wealth, um, power, and longevity. And the shapes of the leaves are also good metaphor. If you go to the east of Anhui province, you will see more ceiling like this. And some of the ceiling are even drawn with uh, drawn by a picture that uh, people are taking opium. And uh, that's what I have been talking about um, ancient uh, craftsmen. And uh, as a uh, modern craftsmanship we should learn from our ancestors in using this metaphor and uh, expressing more beautiful content. These are where the root comes from. We see deforestation and the exportation of wood. 
of course, to other provinces. And uh, this beautiful forest uh, might one day become a person's house. And the local people do not know much about the protection of the forests. I have participated in the designing and uh, some part of the construction of this structure, which is in Anhui province. This structure uses a lot of modern materials. This is the current, current ventilation. Now, this is the traditional ventilation system. This is the current. Very different uh, styles. <laughs> and this is the current ventilation system. And this is the faster growing timber that is used. With that, thank you. And uh, my presentation is open to your comments and the criticism.